Hey there, it's time for another edition of Wednesday in the Word. I'm Tim Arrington, and I'm pleased to bring you the next in our series on the Beatitudes from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 5. In today's study, we're going to be looking at Matthew 5, verse 5, where Jesus says to his listeners, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Now, as we've learned already from Pastor Floyd and Pastor Chase in our, in our first two studies, the word blessed here in the Beatitudes means happy. Happy, he says, are the poor in spirit. Happy are those who mourn. And now in verse 5 we read, blessed or happy are the meek. It's interesting, Jesus thus far in this particular sermon, he seems to be engaged in sort of a reset of the hearts and minds of his disciples, as well as the hearts and the minds of the, the great multitude that had gathered there to listen to his very authoritative teaching. And Jesus, well, he's challenging the way they understood God and, and, and his kingdom. He's challenging their works-based understanding of salvation through the law with a new teaching about salvation by grace through faith in him. Jesus told them how he had come as their long-awaited Messiah in order to fulfill the law. Again, in this beatitude, Jesus says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And perhaps a better word for meek here would be gentle. In fact, many translations use gentle instead of meek. And to me, the word gentle just makes better sense. In fact, Jesus uses the same word to describe himself in Matthew 11, later on, verses 28 and 29. You know the passage. Jesus says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. You see, the problem was that Jesus did not fit the people's expectation of who their Messiah would be like or act like. And they would eventually, as we know, reject Jesus because he did not fulfill their expectations. No, they expected a mighty warrior type to come and rescue them in strength. And they believed the kingdom of their Messiah would belong also to those who were strong and mighty. But on the contrary, Jesus, the true Messiah, was saying just the opposite, that the coming kingdom would instead belong to those who are gentle and, and, and humble. Later in Matthew's Gospel, we read where Jesus describes the humility necessary for those who would ultimately enter into his kingdom. In Matthew 18, we read, At that time, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And calling to him a child, he, Jesus, put him in the midst of them and said, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. But whether we use the word meek or gentle or humble, Jesus' point is that possessing such an attitude, meekness, gentleness, humility, that attitude is necessary for us to inherit his kingdom. It's necessary for his salvation. A life that is marked by gentleness and humility simply gives evidence to a heart that understands its complete and utter dependence upon God. Humility says, I can't work for my salvation. It says, there's nothing I can do to earn it. No, it's a wonderful gift, a gift that's promised by our beautiful Savior, and we can only humbly and gratefully receive it. Amen? Amen. Blessed indeed are the meek. Hey, thanks again for joining me for this Wednesday in the Word. Until next week, same time, I pray God's richest blessings upon each and every one of us. Until then, take care.